and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share this video all over the entire internet. Remember to donate to the show below uh, the GoFundMe link. You can click it in the comment section of the video. Please help support the show, the cause, and everything that is happening right now. Ladies and gentlemen, right at the top of the video, CM Punk returns to Cage Fury FC commentary on UFC Fight Pass. Now, there's a lot of rumors and speculation about CM Punk and whether or not the WWE would allow him to go out to another company, to another organization to do outside ventures. Well, it appears the WWE has no problem with CM Punk doing such a thing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, WWE SmackDown is on probably right now as you're watching this video. Continuous coverage of SmackDown in the review from Sean's View. You'll get it right here on this very video. Also, strange circumstances surrounding the WWE. What is that all about? Well, we're going to get into that right now. But remember to donate, become a channel member today. After everything, my girlfriend what stood after she suffered a seizure, after she lost her job. She can't have her license for six months. It's really put me in a pickle. So you guys know the passion. You know the adrenaline. You know the heart, the hustle. You know the time, the investment I put into this. Hopefully you'll donate by clicking the GoFundMe link below in the comment section of the pinned comment under this video. But strange circumstances surround WWE's next Madison Square Garden show. Now, we know over the last few years, it's been a little bit of a conflicted past between WWE and Madison Square Garden. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you where it is not confliction. Tonight, you're going to get the best of the best. You're going to get the Motor City Machine Guns who have legitimately signed WWE contracts. You're going to get Roman Reigns. You're going to get Randy Orton. And Kevin Owens has, well, I don't know if he's trying to pull the wool over eyes. I don't know if he's trying to fool us. But Kevin Owens says, I I'm quitting. I'm done. I may not return. I may not come back to the WWE. So that is what Kevin Owens is doing, and that's what he might be sticking to. That's what he might be standing to at the end of the day. You can never know what is going through the mind of Kevin Owens. There was an abandoned pitch to bring back Al Snow's head for WrestleMania 40 unveiled. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And we all know Al Snow, one of the all-time great Attitude Era superstars. Kevin Owens calls out Randy Orton for betraying him, saying, I can't believe you picked Cody Rhodes over me. That is major, that is huge, and that is cataclysmic. Because Kevin Owens seems like he is just disheveled. He cannot believe, he cannot even stand the fact that it's come to this. You know what I'm saying, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we are also receiving word that in storyline, and again, it could be a storyline, again, again, TNA and WWE, the open door, WWE are having wrestlers go to indie promotions, smaller promotions. The WWE seems to be more open working with other wrestling companies, just like they're working with TNA right now, currently, like I just mentioned a few seconds ago. But listen to this one, guys. This, was, this is the major one. This is what I think really needs to bring some eyes to the prize. When and if Stephanie McMahon, once this whole Vince McMahon thing dies down and the whole court thing and the controversy and the, the bedlam and the mayhem and the, the chaos. It's into chaos in the McMahon family right now. And that's why they have nothing to do with WWE television. But Stephanie McMahon did return at WrestleMania 40. And she has been seen in the crowd. She has been a part of the audience. If Stephanie McMahon were to come back to storyline, of course, we're under the Triple H era, as Michael Cole likes to call it. And, I mean, with John Moxley saying that I'm the one in charge of AEW, I don't like the position of AEW. I don't know. I don't like the way AEW is heading. That is leading to a lot of rumors and gossip, a lot of speculation that Dean Ambrose could come into the WWE and re-Christian, re-Christian, the AEW world title into the Universal Championship again, bringing back the Red Raw Universal Heavyweight Championship of this world. Now, we have seen champions re Christian championships in the past, but this would be, you know, something Dean Ambrose, only something like this Dean Ambrose could come up with, and something like this he could do. And he could really sink his teeth into. And if anybody could make that work, it would be Dean 
Ambrose. Make no mistake about that at the end of the day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, today, guys, viewers, fans, subscribers, you got to go watch what happened when Vince Russo spilled it all. Vince Russo went nuts. Vince R Russo went on a rant. Vince Russo went on a rage. It was incredible. You know, some can say they like Vince Russo because some say he had compelling ideas, creative ideas. Vince Russo even talked about going into the WWE Hall of Fame. Some said that would be a shame, but you cannot undersell, you cannot underscore the kind of help and the satisfaction. You cannot help, you cannot underscore, you cannot devalue what Vince Russo's help, his help during the Attitude Era because he definitely had a helping hand. And if you don't think he did, well, then you might want to check yourself because while Vince Russo had it for every bad idea, there was a good idea. There was something that kept you on the edge of your seat, you know, crash TV, whatever you want to call it, however you want to go by it, however you want to address it, Vince Russo made it compelling. Vince Russo actually put his time, his life, he put his whole brain into making the WWE as good as it was during the Attitude Era. Now, of course, he had a great roster. Of course, he had a great roster. And some say, well, Vince McMahon was, um, you know, a man that couldn't really write the creative. He really couldn't write the, the, the he couldn't come up with something on a piece of paper. He, he, you know, when it came to pen to paper, he couldn't do it. But that's where Vince Russo came in and changed the entire game. And... Again, viewers, fans, and subscribers, it's one of those things where you look at it and had Russo not been a part of the Attitude Era, you got to wonder, had he not had his hand in the Attitude Era for the couple of years that he was there writing and, and putting everything he had, his blood, his sweat, his tears, into that show, into that program, 365, you got to wonder. You could have had the talent. You could have had the wrestlers. You could have had the raw television show. But, but Russo changed everybody's mind with his creative writing. And then later on, they would call it the creative team, creative writing. But was it really creative? Has it really been as motivating? I mean, just now, just now it seems like we're seeing some shades of the Attitude Era, some shades of the brilliance that is the WWE. Some would say the WWE has been so good the last year that maybe Vince Russo is back working, but that's just speculation and hearsay. And Vince Russo says he was he would turn down the WWE Hall of Fame. Although when I think I, I when when push when push comes to shove, I don't know. I mean, I think you get a little bit of money for it. I think Russo would be in it for the payday. I mean, listen, many wrestlers have said they will turn down the Hall of Fame. And then once they got asked, once they actually got called up, once they got emailed, texted, whatever you want to say, they did accept the offer. And Russo does, does deserve to be recognized uh, for his accolades. Uh, make no mistake about it at the end of the day, viewers. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring up here on this very show is the opportunity to become a channel member, subscribe, and turn on all notifications because it is time to raise the bar to all-time levels and all-time heights. Because everything is going to be all right. Subscribe.